It was a medical desert for a while, but soon some medical services will again return to Peru. Good Friday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Reppold. Thanks for joining us. The improved OSF St. Elizabeth Medical Center will be open for emergency services starting Sunday. Sela Estelle has more on tonight's top story. With $60 million for the foreseeable future, phase one of the new OSF St. Elizabeth Medical Center will include two ICU beds and a full emergency department. The hospital shut down in January of 2023. Then it was known as St. Margaret's. This improved facility also includes four inpatient rooms for general medical care and 12 more rooms will eventually be made available. All of the services between the two communities will, will have great health care in both. Eventually, more than a year from now, we'll have more centralized services here in Peru, including labor and delivery, but there's no date for that yet. The mayor of Peru, Kenneth Koloski, says that his vision and hope for OSF and the community is expansion. Now that it's back, we want to make it bigger and better and stronger. We want more doctors. We want more facilities. We want more out inpatient, outpatient clinics, whatever it is. We're going to be make sure this grows. For now, only the extra clinical services to support inpatient and emergency departments are available, such as CT scans, x-rays, and ultrasounds. The OSF St. Elizabeth Medical Center will be available for emergency care as soon as Sunday. In Peru for 25 News, I'm Sela Estelle.